watching another video with Mommy's DIYs. Uh, today, greetings from California. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make bath bombs that are good for people who just had a baby. They're postpartum uh, bath bombs and they have all the ingredients to heal your body and relax your body. So make sure you watch the video all the way to the end because as we progress in, I'm gonna be putting up the links, uh, not the links, but the the properties of each ingredient that I'm gonna be using. And for now, let me gather my all my ingredients. But if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Once I reach to 100 uh, subscribers, which I'm at 86 right now, I'm gonna do a drawing for a CBD product and another goodies that I'm gonna incorporate in your baggie if you win the, the, um, the gift. But, and also this recipe has CBD oil and is, I'm also going to put the, uh, the properties of the CBD oil, but if you don't want to incorporate the CBD oil, that's fine. Or if you want to go ahead and let your doctor know so that he can give you the okay, uh, so that is good, okay? But either way, it's a very go good recipe for those beautiful women who just uh, had a baby. So let me gather my ingredients and see you in a minute. Okay, so the first step of, of, this, uh, of this recipe, it's uh, we're gonna find ourselves a mason jar and we're gonna use um, half of the jar of this here. It's called labor prep, floral, organic, and caffeine free. So you're gonna fill this half ways. And what I did is I used two, four, six, seven, seven of the little pouches, okay? Um, this I got it on Amazon, so I put the description below so it so that you can look at it. So uh, two, four, six, seven pouches, and then I'm gonna use half of the um, the rest of the the jar, half of it with uh, calendula. It's called calendula um, petals all the way up, just like that. Okay. And then we're gonna pour some 100% uh, pure organic um, olive oil. So we're gonna go ahead and pour it in there. Just like that. And this, and this, um, this is gonna also um, help you, um, this is gonna be good for a few, a few times, okay? we're going to let it absorb. Let me just help it with uh, one of my wood sticks. There, there you go. Okay, there it is. So just a little more. Okay, so that's what you're going to be doing. Half and half. Okay, so here we are. You're going to have a pot with water. And then you're going to put your oil in there. Once the water starts boiling, you're gonna put that to low heat. Okay, and you're gonna let it, um, let it boil in there for about six to seven hours. And then after that, you're going to uh, just take it out and let it rest for at least 48 hours. So that's two days, okay? So we're gonna do the process. We're gonna keep an eye on it like every, Every hour, I'm gonna come back and see if it needs more water. But other than that, that's the first step. And once we get through this step, then it, the recipe will go much quicker. I'm back, it's been 48 hours, and now we're gonna go ahead and strain our oil. I got these, they go, they go in, in your um, toes, just like that. I got them at the Dollar Tree, so that's what I'm gonna be using because we want everything, every little, we don't want any of the herbs to go through the oil. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our mix through there, our oils and the calendula and the other um, herbs that I use. And we're just gonna strain that. Okay, so you're just gonna go ahead and make sure you, your hands are completely uh, completely clean and we're just gonna strain all the oil. Let's 
see how it looks. So we're gonna be able to make more than quite a few batches of the of the bad bumps. Okay, so squeeze it, squeeze it as much as you can. Here we go. So, see, why well, you already have um, four ounces right there. And we're gonna empty that. This is already trash, we're not gonna use it again. Okay. So I'm putting this thing in, in there again to put more of the, the rest of the, the herbs. I'm just gonna put them in there. And once I squeeze all the oil from here, I'm gonna clean my mason jar and I'm gonna pour all my, I'm gonna pour back my oil in there already cleaned. And that's what we're gonna use to um, to make the bath bombs. Okay, so there you go. With um, this jar, I made just a little over four ounces. Okay. So there's our, our oil. I'm gonna get the rest of the items ready, and we'll go ahead and start making our bath bombs. Okay, welcome back. So um, I have done these bath bombs before and this is the one that I did. And this is the, like a 4.3 ounces. And then I did this one, it's a 3.4 ounces. Uh, this is the shape of a flower, but unfortunately the, the flower didn't come out as, as, as pretty as I thought it was gonna be. Let me show you. Another one. This is another one. This one came out better. So you can either use this here, and I'm gonna leave a link of the website where I get them. They are very reasonable price. Or you can also look for them on eBay. And these ones I got it uh, through Amazon, and I'll put the link below to uh, so it takes you straight to the to the place where I got them to the uh, seller who where I got them from. But um, these are the four, uh, 4.3, 4 4.4, depending on how much you pack them, okay? So I really like, I, to me personally, I like this better. And because I'm, I'm gonna sell them, I think this um, has a, a better view than, than the other ones. Okay, so here I have my ingredients. We're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start half a cup of your Epsom salt, one cup of your baking soda, half a cup of your cornstarch. And I'm using these gloves, they're sterilized, so they have nothing like in my nails or my hands, even though they're clean, but I want these to be super, 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 you know, uh, nice and clean. Okay, and then we're gonna do half a cup, a cup of our citric acid. And you guys, I got these four for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I have a, also, I'm gonna incorporate the video of the goodies that I got at the Dollar Tree uh, for to make all my, my crafts and DIYs. But this I got from the Dollar Tree. And then we have uh, also uh, goat milk. Now I'm adding two tablespoons of pink, pink salt. I found this really, really, uh, at a very good price uh, uh, Tuesday morning, okay? So now we're gonna mix all our ingredients. Let me move this out of the way. First, we're gonna go ahead and mix these really well. So they're all mixed together. There we go. These are very, very, very easy to make. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, add our organic cal calendula. Mix it in there. And make sure that you watch, um, I don't know if I said this already, but watch all the video because through the video, I'm gonna be incorporating the properties of each ingredient that I'm using, okay? 
So here we are with the calendula. And now the next item that I'm gonna incorporate is gonna be, this has the uh, 10 drops of lavender, 250 milligrams of CBD oil, and the infused oil that we made before, okay? So everything is incorporated there. Let's go ahead and get every single drop in there. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this very well too. There we go. So your mix needs to be able, like when you grab it, it needs to be able to stay together. If not, then what I do usually, it's I, um, I get my uh, witch hazel and I put it in a spray bottle. And what I do is I spray it on my hands like four times and I incorporate it into the into my mix. If you spray it directly into the mix, the baking soda starts, it activates, and we don't want that. So I went four times at one, four times, two times, and I think that's gonna be enough. See, see the difference? It stays better, okay? And these bath bombs, the best thing to do once you make them is to just leave them overnight so that they, they dry nicely before you pack them, okay? So I have, a, let's go ahead and do the first one. Let me get myself a plate here. Okay, so we kind of gather all of the mix and then we bring it together. We want to have enough mix so that they come out nice and and tight. And then if you get any of the calendula coming out of the mold, just go ahead and, and push it and it's gonna just come off. So there you go, there's the first one. I was able to get five of them and they're still, we, and we're gonna let them dry overnight, but this is the one that I made that I did uh, two days ago and I'm gonna use this one. So for, uh, because I sell them and and also because they said that anything, any of the glycerin soaps or the gold milk, milk soaps or the bad bombs, they need to be wrapped up in a cellophane. In this case, I wrap, I usually wrap them in a, in a little, um, a small plastic um, bag from Michael's. I'm sorry, I went running up the steps and I think I lost my breath. <sighs> okay, so I, I went running to go pick up the bathroom. So um, this is how I wrap them. I get these in where they have all the, the key candy making stuff and that's where I get them. And these two, I get it at uh, Walmart. The labels, I make all my labels and I'm gonna put a, a link Above, if you want to learn how to make your your own labels, I use eight and a half by eleven vinyl sheets, and then I just choose the design and I get the cutters of Michael different shapes, or I, or I cut them in my cutter, and I make my own. For me, it's more a reasonable price, and if I only want half of a page of one and half of a page of of another label, then I can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna put the link above. So this is what I usually do, but in this case, because Michael's is still um, is still closed, I'm hoping that they that they will be open soon. What I'm doing right now is I'm putting them in in a little cellophane, not cellophane, uh, plastic wrap, and so see where the shape of the, where the two 
uh, molds uh, met. So I, can, I put it this way. And, and then I just do this thing. Pull it just a little bit. Whether you're going to use them to gift or to sell, I think it's a nice idea to wrap them up. So this is what I do with them. And then I go ahead and I put the label of the of the, all the ingredients. I put it on the bottom part. And then the label with the, uh, with the, um, the description, like the, the CVD and the, the scent that I use goes right above here. So that this, there it is, okay? I actually like him like this better, but you know, maybe once uh, Michael's opens, I can go ahead and do that, okay? So this is all for me, you guys. Greetings to you. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram and post your pictures of what you did on Facebook for me. And I will really, if you have any comments, if you have any questions, I, I, I can go ahead and, and answer you any questions that you may have. Uh, if you want to text me, you can text me at 805-612-1255. I can answer you in any question. I have um, helped other people uh, start their businesses, and I don't mind that. Um, so I'm here for you guys. But for now, may, may the Lord bless you today and every day and every minute of your life, you and your family. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.